Hello everyone. So today it's tarantula feeding video 144, the final part. I was on my blackboard and we're writing down all the species that I need to feed that are on shelves number 8 and 10. I don't know, I think ivory chalk goes well on a green blackboard. <laughs> or chalkboard. Anyways guys, grab a bag of popcorn and your favorite drink. We're going to start to feature uh, the ones uh, that have left. I don't know if we're going to feature all 45, but uh, we'll uh, see uh, what we have. So today we're going to go in alphabetical order and we'll start off with the A. Genicolata. So there we go, starting off with the most aggressive eater on my channel. This is an Acanthus curia genicolata, the Brazilian giant white knee. This is a juvenile female, around 3 inches. <laughs> there we go. I love these guys. Really good eaters. And these guys get up really big, around 7 to 8 inches. Remember my old Sasha? Uh, she was pretty big. And I've had her for quite a few years before uh, she passed away. Alright, my A Annex wasn't interested in eating, but we're going to try this one. This is my female Phonopalma bicoloratum, which is the Mexican blood leg. Oh, you love that, don't you? Damn, nature, you're scary. Oh, wow, that is such a beautiful tea. Uh, these get up to about four and a half inches, very similar in size to the B. Emilia. Except this one is not as hairy as the B. Bomi. A lot of people, or a lot of new hobbies, will tend to confuse the two. Uh, this is actually the, the more rarer one. Alright, the next tarantula, or tarantulas, that I have on my list is the uh, Brachypelma albopilosum, curly hair. And uh, these are my two juvenile females, and I think I believe that I have both the hobby form and the Nicaraguan form. So uh, if you actually look at them when they're going to be feeding, uh, they look totally different. So let me look for a super. I hope I have enough. If not, I'm going to have to go to the pet store to get some. Okay, we're going to feed the one that I labeled the hobby form. Uh, this is Aragog. usually says no to superworms. Okay. And this is the one that I believe is the Nicaraguan form. There we go. Boosh. Oopsie. All right, guys, look at here. I think you can see for yourself. These are both Biobopolosum, curly hair, because you can see that all of the hairs on the legs are curly, which is typically what uh, these species are known for. But you can see the apparent color difference between the hobby form and the, the Nicaraguan. This is the Nicaraguan form. And if you look here, the lot more darker one is what I believe is my hobby form. Very different colored morphs, but they're both are the same species. Pretty interesting. Cool. Excellent. I'm glad that I actually um found the difference thanks to Ryan when I showed him and said like, Ryan, can you have a look at these specimens here? Uh, I think, I know I have Bialbalpolosum for sure, I just wanted to see if uh, you knew anything about him because he has so much tarantulas, I value his experience and he told me for sure that what I have is the hobby form and the Nicaraguan form. So again, I'm going to call this one from now on the hobby form and this guy to be the Nicaraguan form. You can see definitely the different colors, but both of them are curly hair. You can see 
the curly hairs, making them the tarantula with the permanently bad hair day. Okay, Brachypalma angustum. This is the Costa Rican red haired. Nice. Very similar looking to the bee vagans and the bee sabulosum. Okay, this one here is the Brachypelma emilia, the Mexican painted red leg. Uh, this is a one inch spiderling. It's doing well. I bought this from the former owner of Tangled and Webs. So let's see how she does. Or he. <laughs> Very good. The Hobby Classic, Brachypalma homori, formerly B. smithy, the Mexican red knee. This is a five and a half inch adult female. Oosh. Awesome. All right, this one here is my other Brachypalma homori. Suspect female. This is the Mexican red knee. All right. Here we go, sweetie. Gotta love it. Alright, these guys here are pretty rare and unique. Uh, this is a Brachypalma Schroderi, uh, which is the Mexican Black Velvet. Oh yeah. These guys are one of the smaller members of the Brachypalma. They only attain around three to three and a half inches. They kind of, whoop, there goes the second one. They're kind of like a miniature G. pulchra when they're fully adult. They'll be a jet black color. So this is my larger one that both started off as half inch spiderlings. And this guy recently molted and he too is standing on the cricket. Sweet! Okay, Brachypalma smithy, Mexican orange knee, formerly Bianitha. Uh, this is my juvenile female. There we go. Very quick and painless for the cricket. Alright, so I had to buy some super worms, so now we should complete the feeding video. So now we're looking at a juvenile female Ceratogyrus cinderi, which is the Nambia horned baboon. Nice. There we go. You can see the little horn on is pretty little T. Yeah, about, I would say a good three inches. Okay, this one here, pretty cool tarantula and an ultimate Weber. It puts my green bottle blue to shame. Uh, this one here is an adult female Kilobrachis huahini, which is the Asian fawn. is coming. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Kilobrachis are an incredibly large genus. 
as far as Asian terrestrials are concerned. This one here is about good six inches. Definitely very cool. Alright, I'm going to probably update her anyway since I don't really see her much in my feeding videos because she's almost never hungry. But here's an update video on Stella. She is my three and a half inch female Davis Pentaloris, which is the Costa Rican tiger rump. Formerly it was a cyclosternum fasciatum. There we go. Alrighty, I seem to have a very good track record of my Proteri. And I featured almost every one of them in my feeding video 144. So here is Michaela, my last rose hair that I'm going to feature. There we go, always a hungry beast. Nice job. This one here is a Brazilian black, uh, Grandma Stola Pulcra. Starting to show nice coloration. Yeah. Awesome job. Yeah, definitely adult coloration already. And this is about, I would say, good say two inches. This is to replace my late Ebony uh, who passed away uh, about two years ago. She was about 20 years old in my care and she was about I would say roughly this size when I originally bought her so she could have been at least 23, 24. This one here is a very large female of mine. Uh, this is Charlotte, named after Charlotte's Web. You're looking at an adult female Grandma Stola Pulker piece, Chaco Goldeny. There we go, there's one. I think one's fun for her. Okay, about time to feature a scorpion. This one here is my unsexed baby scorpion, Hetromatera spinifer or Patterson. It's the Asian forest. There we go. Nice. There we go. In for the sting. No sting this time, but I think the scorpion is taking it from the bottom up. <laughs> cool. Alright, here's my adult, possibly female, Ketchumatera spinifer, which is the Asian 4 scorpion. This is how large they get. Uh, did some quite a bit of expurgation going on so let's see if this one is hungry oh yeah I see the mandibles working Slowly eating away. That's nice. <laughs> All 
All right, this female really did an awesome job last uh, time. Uh, here is Kagome. She is my adult female Cochiana Brunipiece, which is a dwarf pink leg from Brazil. Big mistake. <laughs> I just female never seems to disappoint me. Very cute species. Pretty hardy too. Here's a Lassiodora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater. Unsexed juvenile perfect all right this one here is the crown jewel of my collection uh, this is the largest uh, tarantula that I have in my care unfortunately guys I don't have my T Sturmy anymore uh, passed away unexpectedly uh, so you're looking at a <laughs> uh, near eight, maybe nine inch confirmed female Lassiodora Klugi, Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater, aka Marissa. I'll ask Marissa to put a nice 180 for you guys. There we go, there's how big she is. She's in a five gallon tank, so got a lot of space. Really nice, healthy female. All right, this one here, a really nice sling. Uh, Megafabima mesomalas, which is the Costa Rican red leg. Well, boosh. As easy as that. Not showing its full adult colors yet, but probably around the two inch mark we'll see something. But, hungry eater. Alright, this one here is my confirmed male. Megafabema robustum, Colombian giant red leg. That molted not too long ago, I actually made a video on that kind of upset that he's a male because I already have two males of these species but still very nice looking young man all right this one got a rehouse into a deli cup this is an unsexed sling of uh, Metropelma familiare. Unfortunately, no common name for this one. But always a hungry eater. Uh, she's always in my feeding videos. And this one is no exception. All right, this one here is a juvenile Nandu carapoensis. Brazilian red bird eater. Nice work. Here's Nadia's turn to feed. She is my adult female Nandu chromatis, white striped bird eater. Beautiful. Well, I'll give one more super and see if uh, she's willing to take it. <laughs> you little piglet.
Very nice. Pamphibedius fortis female. This is the Colombian brown bird eater. That right away. You gotta love those pamphos. Cool. All right. The spawn from hell. <laughs> from Ictopus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater. This is Jezebel. There we go, coming for the kill. Yeah, she's about, I'd say, a good seven inches. We'll give another super for her. There we go. Perfect. All right, so I showed you my adult. This is what a little baby looks like. Haitian brown bird eater, Pecan Cerides. Obviously very, very differently colored. As spiderlings, these are an electric blue. Now he's starting to lose that blue coloration and starting to become a little bit brown and purple, which uh, is famously known for these species. doing really well. All right, here is Holly. She is my Formictopus species Platus, a silver bird eater. There we go, that's the aggressive response I want to see and what you want to see too. Yep, pretty defensive in temperament, but really strong eater. Okay, on to my pokies. My Formosa wasn't interested in eating, but uh, from what Ryan told, tells me, she actually might be molting very soon. Uh, it's been a couple of months that she hasn't been molting, but anyway, I'm going to feature my juvenile female, uh, Pisotheria metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Whoa, savage. You can see definitely a lot younger than Mia. And definitely a lot more colorful too. Uh-huh, no wonder she's actually pretty fresh and colorful. Looks like we got a molt. Yeah, definitely very nice looking P. Metallica. All right, hopefully no escapee this time. This is my Pisotheria ornata, fringed ornamental, female. Yeah, tongue feeding certainly works with this one. Starting to get a little bit fatter. Here's Sai. She is my female Spobophria Hoffmani, which is the Costa Rican horned bird eater. go. One more for good luck. Here we go. Nice. 
And the last two are my Cyanolum and Ochre Tea. Here's Reika. She is my adult female Thrixel Palma Cyanulum, which is the Cobalt Red Rump. Probably the puppy dog of all tarantulas. Very friendly. Beautiful girl. Look at the blue on her. Really just wow. That's why they call it the Cobalt Red Rump. Alright boys and girls. The last tea. And I believe to be the best for a lot. Alright guys. Last tea. Save the best for last. Here's Victoria. She is my adult female Thrixopelma ochre tea, giant Peru flame rump. Nice. Temperament of her, she's actually pretty skittish and very prone to flick urticating hair. Compared to uh, Reika, she's actually a little mean girl. And shout out to my students that watch my videos. Excellent, I love it. Alright guys, so Yatta! I did it! <laughs> so I'm gonna charge the battery and we'll get a clip of Maggie as I always do and I'll conclude tarantula feeding video 144. All right let's go get a clip of Maggie. All right guys so I did promise a little hang on Maggie. Hey come here. <laughs> Here's little Maggie. She's my 14 year old Shih Tzu. Hey. Yeah, okay, here we go. Come here. Hey, come say hi to the camera. Hey, come say hi. Hmm? What a good dog you are. What a good dog you are. There we go. Still healthy, but she gets a little needy, but uh, that's to be expected given how old she is. All right, everyone, so I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, Tarantula Feeding Video 144. So probably at the end of this month, uh, probably, well, mid-February, I'll be uh, including or recording uh, Tarantula Feeding Video 145. So uh, rest assured, um, Ryan Mack from Tangled and Webs is going to give us uh, some new additions. Uh, I definitely bought the Hanuma Villa Sumica Juvenile, uh, P. Ruminia, and the S. Calciatum. I decided to hold off on the uh, T. Curious. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I think the next video I'll record is um, hopefully uh, Resident Evil 2. Can't wait. It's less than nine days away. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Take care.